And welcome back. This is Waffle House Fight Night. I'm your host, Brent Carlson. Leading off tonight, Argentina has its first ever libertarian president as Javier Malou was installed as president in the Argentinian capital this past Sunday. During the campaign, Malou was seen brandishing chainsaws, smashing a central bank pinata, and performed an opera about public spending dressed as a superhero. His name, La Pinata Banco Opero Pendejo. I kind of did the accent there. I think it's French. Well, many dignitaries from all over the world found their way to the firebrand ceremonies, including Brazil's former president, Jair Bolsonaro, Hungary's president, Viktor Orban, and Ukraine's president, Vold- Voldemir Zelensky, where he arrived in style on his newly acquired private jet. I don't think that's a Cessna. I think that's, that's private, I think. Like, big private. Well, after Zelensky finishes his Argentinian getaway, he will make his way to Washington, D.C. and the U.S. Senate, where he looks to break the stalemate between Democrats and Republicans, where he is literally expected to ask for... One billion, gajillion, fifillion, Well, in a letter this past week to the House and Senate, Shalonda Young stated that the U.S. would run out of funding for weapons and assistance to Ukraine by the end of the year, which would, quote, kneecap Ukraine on the battlefield, which is really scary to think of that many Russians showing up to the battlefield in sweatsuits. I don't know why they're always wearing those things. I figure they always wear suits. Well, the push to make obese Americans more accepted is gaining traction, as many politicians have been planning laws to add a person's weight to the list of characteristics, such as race, age, religion, and sexual orientation, that are protected from discrimination. However, new polls are showing that the new laws may have a short lifespan, much like the really, really fat people they hope to protect. I don't know. Well, Ivy League college presidents came under scrutiny this week after their apparent refusal to denounce the anti-Semitic rhetoric that has become a worsening problem on their campuses. To make matters worse, Harvard president Claudine Gay has been accused of bullying colleagues, suppressing free speech, and overseeing a racist admissions policy. Not only that, but Gay has also been accused of plagiarism. Specifically, she's been accused of copying the policies of other colleges in the Ivy League, which have been labeled as bullying colleagues, suppressing free speech, and overseeing a racist admissions policy. It does sound really similar. I get it. Well, rumors that Kanye West is starting his own news channel have surfaced over the past two weeks as the world-famous rapper finished up a lavish trip to Dubai with wife Bianca Sensori. The name of West's new channel is slated to be called the My Current Wife Has Gigantic Breast News Channel. I think the last one did too. Well, the Golden Globes this year are literally headlined by a blonde bombshell marquee as the movies Barbie and Oppenheimer have gained the lion's share of nominations. Although two very different films, it is safe to say that while one movie is about blowing yours and everyone else's brains out, the other will make you want to blow yours and everyone else's brains out. I'll let you pick which one's which. 
And finally, the new Netflix movie, Leave the World Behind, starring the twin duos of Julia Roberts and Ethan Hawke, and Mahala and Marashala Ali debuted this week to wildly varying reviews. Produced by Higher Ground Productions, a company founded by Barack and Michelle Obama, the film has been criticized as being demonizing to white people. A particular scene in question shows a black father and daughter lying in bed as the lines, I'm asking you to remember that if the world falls apart, trust should not be doled out easily to anyone, especially white people. But the line actually works because the other two actors in the movie harbor so much white guilt that it really takes the sting out of it for the rest of us. And that's all tonight from Waffle House Fight Night. I'm your host, Brent Carlson. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe button, and tell every soul you know. Thanks for joining us.